Young people today are faced with all kinds of messages concerning drugs on television, films, and social media. These claims are often not supported by research-based facts or explain the harm caused by cannabis. As an adult with teenagers in your vicinity, you need to be equipped with factual knowledge about cannabis in order to properly engage with young people and answer their questions and thoughts. The World Health Organization WHO, has commissioned an international research team to analyze all existing research on the use of cannabis that is not for medical use. The report describes what happens in the body and what risks cannabis users are exposing themselves to, both in the long and short term. So what exactly is cannabis? All cannabis plants contain about 100 cannabinoids, of which 9 tetrahydrocannabinol, THC, is the main psychoactive substance. Cannabis also contains cannabidiol, CBD, which can be used to treat certain diseases. Today, cannabis is in general grown with more THC and less CBD, and therefore has an even stronger effect on the body than before. THC affects areas of the brain that control, among other things, motivation, memory, decision-making, and learning ability. Cannabis also impairs attention and coordination, which may increase the risk of traffic accidents. The short-term effects of cannabis depend on the dose and the way in which the drug is consumed. Many users may find that they gain stronger vision and hearing and feel happy and relaxed but may also experience poorer balance, time perception, and mood. Some first-time users may also experience panic attacks and hallucinations. Regular long-term use of cannabis can cause changes in the brain that impair memory and learning ability. Some damage to the brain may remain even if the person stops using cannabis. Withdrawal symptoms such as anxiety, difficulty sleeping, and depression are also common. There's a link between cannabis use and mental illness, such as schizophrenia. Furthermore, due to higher levels of THC in modern cannabis, the risk of developing psychosis is three times higher today than in the past. Scientists have found that if the brain is exposed to THC before it's fully developed, it becomes more susceptible to other types of drugs. Young people are also at a greater risk of developing an addiction. While 1 in 10 adults who smoke cannabis less often than every day become addicted, the corresponding figure for teenagers is 1 in 6. And among teenagers who smoke cannabis every day, as many as 1 in 3 become addicted. You can learn more about cannabis in the WHO report Health and Social Effects of Non-Medical Use of Cannabis, which is also available in Swedish. As an adult, you are a valuable source of information for young people. Establishing trust is important when talking to teenagers about how they view cannabis and what they know about it. You can also contact your county administrative board or municipality.